Well, hey folks, it's Amy from Colorado Mountain Living. In this video, we're gonna show you guys how far we got on our vanity here, kind of describe the process of putting it all together to this point, and also kind of show you what some of the details are that goes into some of the joinery. Um, joining together all the boards here, uh, making, building drawer boxes, and even working on the vanity top. So let me show you real quick what the vanity top looks like. It's in process right now. Uh, I'll tell you about it in the video, but we are really close to finishing up our vanity. Just a few more steps for the finish work, but we've got something really nice that's gonna go in our bathroom, guys. Tell you about it in this video. In preparation to be working on some of the joinery work for the vanity, Brian purchased a biscuit joiner. Biscuit joiner, guys. Biscuit joiner. Things are getting exciting. Uh, oh, there it is. So we haven't used it yet, but the Rex Betty, uh, it was about $70 on Amazon and can't wait to see how it works. It doesn't pop out with a biscuit. I thought it makes a biscuit. <laughs> I thought you, I thought you cut it and then the biscuit pops out and then you. <laughs> so you have to buy the biscuit separately. Yes. Okay. Or they come with it. They come with it. Okay. Okay. So. Mm hmm. Flush. Nice and flush. Wow, pretty cool, man. Now, normally I would put one on the other side here. Mhm. Mm but these are not. These pieces of wood are not exactly the same thickness. Oh yeah. Mm. So that would screw it up. Yeah. Mm. So I'll just put glue on there. It's just a style thing. Mhm. Mm so initially, Brian was just going to purchase drawers separately for the vanity, just get the measurements, but he actually had some high grade plywood. So he decided to go ahead and try his hand at making drawers. Now he was waiting on this because he wanted to actually do dovetail drawers and we didn't have the equipment for that, but he does, uh, he was able to sort of do like a rabbit corner. I think that's what it's called. Um, so he ended up deciding to do that for the drawers. They're not heavy duty drawers. We're not going to be storing tools in them or anything. So, you know, we figured why not give it a try to do the rabbited corner instead of the dovetail. Um, so anyway, he's uh, going through and trying to his hand at making drawers for the very first time. So as you can see here, it's just lots of little tiny cuts with the saw, just trimming everything. Uh, trimming off the corners and some of the cuts on the red corners, they are only uh, halfway through the board. So a lot of precision involved there as well. Looks like you're making drawers. Yes. <laughs> I didn't know that was all what that plywood was for that you bought. It was from. It was left over, so I thought I'd make drawers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to buy them. Yeah, this is way cheaper. Oh, <laughs> cool. Those are like sixty dollars a drawer. So what? You making all these cuts and stuff? Yep. Oh, look so, at you. So I just made a little. Rabbit joint there. Oh. oh. Wow, look at this, look at this. Nice. I 
There it is. A drawer box. Oops. Oops. <laughs> Careful. So we only have three, right? Yep. So you got plenty of material? No, anymore. Oh. Hmm. I, I, just the two pieces of plywood I had left over were perfect size. Hmm. Like I didn't even have to cut the width. Oh. That's funny. So that'll go in. Yeah. And then your the results of your biscuit joinery. Yeah, yeah. Your hat. Your... Ain't going nowhere. The so, house is falling down. You climb in there. <laughs> <laughs> That's our fallout shelter. Yeah. The vanity. Cool. So that's all you're using the biscuit joiner for? Those two things? The top. Oh, the top. The top's going to get a bunch of biscuits in there. Okay. Good. I like biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to pick out our top? Yeah, outside. Outside. <laughs> it's always nice to have dovetail, but yeah, it takes a lot of extra time. Mm. Well, yeah, it's not like I'm loading it up with tools or rocks, so just lotions and yeah, so I'll, makeup. I'll, I'll glue it and then put a nail in, mm -hmm. in there. Cool. Here we go. Doing pretty good. <laughs> My first drawer box ever. First drawer box ever. <laughs> hey, going to business now. Brian's out here trying to find the slab of wood that we're going to use for the vanity. It's in the shed that was, and apparently it's under a lot of snow. Looks like you're doing an excavation project. Huh? That one's too narrow. Too narrow? Oh. Okay. That one's too narrow, so it needs a little bit, a little bit wider. I mean, if we have to splice in a piece, we could probably use that. Mm hmm The other two are right here. Uh -huh. There's our wood. Oh, they're nice and wide, yeah. Much wider. Huh? Much wider. Yeah. There's oh. the other slab. Oh. Woo. Cool. So we'll kind of try to decide between the two. We'll probably keep a live edge for the most part. There you go. That's where I put in all those these pieces, trim pieces. Oh, trim pieces. Hmm. Then I put a trim piece here. I put some decorative tacks on there. So, going to stain the rest to match the legs and then distress them so they come out like this. See with this edge sanding, so we have a nice distressed look for the entire vanity. Going with cherry. Cherry is the color of the stain on our beams, the timber frame beams. So we had the bunch left over. Yeah, look kind of nice on the inside. Contrast to the blackish dark walnut. Kind of a stinky job to do indoors, but uh, sometimes you just gotta do what you have to do. But Ryan definitely wanted to stain the inside of the cabinet, mostly because uh, he just wanted to be have it be as waterproof as possible. Because um, it is a vanity, you know, it is going to be in the bathroom, subject to uh, exposure to water. So you just wanted to make sure the inside surfaces were 
um, stained and then I kind of jumped in there with the dark walnut stain on the very exterior boards there of the cedar boards. Um, the cedar boards do pick up quite a bit more stain so uh, it really just really soaks in and that really that black black color just comes out really easily. Not bad looking. Actually kind of good looking. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you got a chalk line there. Yeah, yeah. We're trimming the back of the vanity so it's nice and flat so Brian can put a splice together another piece on. So I feel like I need to explain why we're splicing another piece on. It looks like the vanity top fits as is. However, what Brian wants to do is make sure that the vanity itself is at least four inches away from the wall so he can have the plumbing for the sinks actually behind the vanity instead of going inside the vanity. So he wants four more inches or six more inches of vanity top hanging off the back side of the vanity as opposed to the front side of the vanity. So that way he'll be able to hide the plumbing beside it and the plumbing's not going to take up room inside of the cabinet itself. And uh, anyway, so the board the way it is is not quite big enough. So he's uh, making a flat line uh, against one side and he's going to splice on another piece to get that width. Okay, now the next step is to plane down the hump. You can kind of see it here in the video, it's just a little bit raised in the middle, not exactly a perfectly level. Uh, so Brian's gonna plane that down as well as the back edge there for the planer. And back to the planer. Sometimes it's helpful to take it from a bunch of different angles to try to get that center hump down. But uh, definitely followed by a lot of sanding afterwards to get rid of all of those lines. So lots and lots of sanding. I think Brian spent at least half an hour sanding out all these lines. Uh, but he, in the end, he had a nice level surface. So definitely worth it, all that work. I'm going to go and, and, and put two in. I'm going to make it lower, but I want to, uh, before I lower it, I'm going to move the other one. What do you mean? I'm going to make a hole here, too. Oh, oh. you're going to flip it and do biscuits? No, I'm just going to use the same reference line. Oh. I just, I can lower the fence. Oh, or in, or I in, see. Hot, increase the fence. Okay. Got your biscuits? Got your cookies? Yeah. <laughs>
And here we come to the sort of tedious step of the process, the gluing in and insertion of all the biscuits, uh, making sure everything's lined up. But looking good here. We've got uh, fresh wood glue. I had to run to the store and grab for Brian. But uh, we've got the double joins here for the biscuits. Uh, everything's getting a nice thick layer of glue and then going to be pipe clamped together overnight, maybe a couple of evenings, <laughs> maybe 48 hours on this glue. Um, but going to look really nice, guys. Really excited about our vanity top here. I think it's going to be um, one more step after this is that we are going to stain it and then do uh, an epoxy as opposed to a polyurethane top. Um, just definitely recommended to do something very, very waterproof because it's going to be a sink vanity and we just want to ensure that uh, no water penetrates it. So going to do that, go in favor of the epoxy top over that. So um, stay tuned, guys. In our next video, we're going to keep you updated on how the vanity turns out, the installation, um, probably by this coming weekend. So uh, we hope to keep you guys posted on that, as well as some other things we've been getting done around the house as well. Some more decorative stuff with the doors and decorations and um, everything's coming along, guys. We're excited to have you with us and we'll catch up with you on the next video. Too bad they're two different colors. <laughs> 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 <laughs>